So today I'm making a kind of a different kind of a video. Um, our good friend over in Kingdom 1862, uh, the True King, uh, Tan Hoshangia, had his account uh, hacked and held for ransom. Um, basically, right now I'm showing you guys the conversation between him and the hacker. Um, he's trying to get his account back and he's saying the stipulation how much it's going to cost and it's pretty low stuff. Uh, after submitting a whole bunch of information to Clash of Kings, they responded with this. Um, we've retrieved the account to the other player who was able to provide more proof of ownership for the account. Which is just absolutely absurd because, yeah, he had his email so he could provide more receipts. But the evidence is overwhelming to show that Tam Hoshangia is the rightful owner of his account. Um... If I go to this next screenshot right here, we can see the new person changed his name. Tan has never changed his name or his picture ever. And this guy's currently in this picture, Killer Shark. You'll find out later on when I go to the actual game, he changed his name to Watch Out. Like, Tan doesn't do that. Uh, this person has also attacked many different allied alliances and people who have been very loyal to Tan. So that is another shot in the face right there. And this right here, he changed the name of his alliance to UNA from VTN. And as I have circled here, there's only one member in this 120-person alliance. As soon as the hacker took over the account, he kicked every single person out of that alliance and took it over for himself. So you know, I'm basically showing this because I know conversations can be doctored and that's not solid evidence. But you can see through actions here that this is not Tan's um, at, at all Tan's personality that and he also sh showed me his credit card <laughs> number and the receipts that he used for said credit card number that has his name I'm obviously not going to put that on this video for obvious reasons but you know he is the rightful owner of that account and this is really disturbing how this can happen um, a lot of people have been asking me though what they could do to help out Tan uh, in 1862 and I've been able to come up with one thing that you should do and one thing you sh and I'm sorry, one thing you should do and two things you should not do. And I'll go over those right now. So one thing you should definitely do if you're in Kingdom 1862 is come and join us over here at the throne. You can see everybody is showing support, friend or foe, to show show help for Tan. Help help to Tan see okay. Help Tan. Back Tan. Back to Tan. Everybody has a whole bunch of um, things in here both helpful and they show hurt feelings like goodbye 1682 and uh, VNN VN quit I mean there's just so many people here who don't want Tan to go but this whole situation is showing that you know this this kingdom is kind of forgotten now so you know if one thing that you absolutely can do is come on over here to the to the throne park yourself over here and refuse to leave until Tan gets his castle back so that's the one thing that you should do. Here's two things that you should not do until Tan gets his castle back. First of all, and probably the most important thing is do not spend money on packs. Don't. Look at all these packs. Do not buy them. Do not reward Clash of Kings for their behavior in this. And that's obviously one reason is to not reward what they've done. But the other big thing, the only reason why, other, other reason why I'm saying don't spend money on packs is Tan's castle is huge. The strongest players after Tan uh, would have to spend ten thousand dollars or more to catch up to his power and stats. If the purpose of buying packs is to become stronger, then do not buy packs because you're not going to be able to catch up to his castle. It's a futile effort. But really, the bottom line is, it's going to hurt their bottom line. It's going to make them pay attention. So everybody in 1862, don't buy any more packs until this is resolved. The second thing you should not do, and I'm going to show you right now, Kingdom Transfer. Do not Kingdom Transfer. It's, once again, rewarding Clash of Kings bad behavior. It's showing that they can do whatever they want with other people's castles. We'll still shell out money to get out of their situation. Okay? The worst thing you, you, you can do is give them money. Do not spend money on packs. Do not transfer out of the kingdom. If you have to, just quit the game. I'm on the verge of doing that if this situation doesn't get resolved because there's no reason to be in a kingdom where, they're, where he's going to burn every single person alive and hold our kingdom hostage. So I implore COK to do the right thing and give the account back to Tan Hoshangia. 
you know that he's the rightful person. I mean, if you even think about it, the hacker's from India, we know this, and our friend is from Vietnam. Use a locating, uh, use, you, use your locator to see when he pops onto the internet. Very simple to do. Also, look at when he buys packs. It won't be under Tan Hoshangia's credit card, it'll be under the new hacker's name, which we also have his name as well. There is overwhelming evidence there's no reason why this should not be rectified. So, to all my brothers and sisters of 1862, let's stand together and let's see if we can't get justice for Tan Hoshangia. And Tan, we're all behind you, brother. We're going to be here with you until the last breath. I promise that. All right? So, that's about it for my rant, guys. I hope that this at least sheds some light on the vicious nature of hackers and, you know, unfortunately, sometimes... COK gets it wrong and they give them the account away to someone else but hopefully this sheds some light and we can get our brother back but until next time guys I will see you on the battlefield